Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Transformers Friday from the Toy Box. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Titans Returns Leader Class Dreadnought and Overlord. Let's get into it! Let's take a look at the figure and accessories in alt mode, of course. And first up, we have the handy dandy instructions. It's a nice big sheet. It folds out four times. Well, it folds out two times. It has four like sections of pages on it. And as you can see, it has some pretty nice instructions on it. However, they are quite tiny and hard to see. And then you can combine them together with Crypticon in base mode, Overlord, and Sky Shadow. Unfortunately, I never got my hands on Sky Shadow. I really would have liked to, but, you know. It's not like I really display stuff in the base mode anyway. So, there is that. And here's the card that he came with, the Septicon Overlord, Titans Returns. It has his stats on the back, strength, speed, intelligence, and firepower. So firepower, he's a 20. Look out, everybody. And I, you can't, I don't really consider this guy an accessory, but his name is Dreadnought, and I don't believe that that was his name in the Japanese cartoon. In fact, the Japanese Overlord actually comes with two Headmasters, I do believe, and, and we'll show why later. But it, he's a Titan Master, you know, he's got a head on the back. The head will rotate around. The arms will move up and down, and, and they do swing out just a little bit, because it's on a ball joint right here. And then the legs, you can set him down, and he does have some knee articulation but that's mostly for transformation and they it's all molded together so the legs don't move individually the arms will move individually and of course the head and look he's got some nice little paint apps there for the face so it is kind of pretty cool looking I do wish they'd have put a plug or something in there to kind of cover up those those screws that they use to hold the face plates on. There he's got a little bit of molded detail there. And of course the face. And then a little bit of molded detail in the legs. And there I go bumping the camera because you know what's a digital caveman presents review without a little camera bumping. Now Overlord does split into two vehicles. That's one of the reasons why he has in, in the original version two headmasters but there's another reason as well that we'll get into when we get into robot mode which they've kind of adapted for the Titans Return storyline but you know it's not a bad looking plane it ain't a great looking plane it's got some foil stickers on it most everything is molded in color there's a few paint apps here and there the back is really not great looking at all when you look at it that way side profile is okay and it does have a landing gear you can put it up and you can put it down when it's in the on the ground mode but I mean overall it's it's not a horrible looking plane it's actually pretty kind of cool looking when you 
look at it from a front view or an isometric view or even the top view it's not too bad but when you flip it over and you look at the rear of it it's not the greatest so just don't look at it that way all right and here's the other half of I mean, well this is the bottom half the plane is the top half this is the bottom half and this turns into his legs and it's a tank there's no the turret doesn't turn the gun doesn't move up and down it does have some wheels on the bottom of it to let it roll and it does roll pretty freely it's not catching on anything at all now the other side of course is a little bit messy from the front doesn't look bad at all from the side looks pretty decent from the back it's not bad either so out of the two alt modes I would have to say the tank mode is the better of the two now one thing about the Titans returns line is the majority of the figures have compartments for the Titan Masters so in this tank mode you just flip this piece up put him down in there and you can close it back down in there he's in there so if you're displaying this in alt mode you can put him in one of the two vehicles without you know risking losing it or getting it mixed up with something else and on the plane mode which I really should have done this while I was looking at the plane mode but this piece does open up the canopy at least I say it does it doesn't want to right now ah, there it goes so it opens up like that and again you can stick the Titan Master or Headmaster, whatever you want to refer to it as, down in there. And close the canopy in there. He's in there nice and snug flying the plane. Well, that, my friends, does it for a look at the figure in his alt modes. It's time for alt mode comparisons. And here we have both halves of the Titans Returns leader class overlord with the Titans Returns legends class bumblebee Here's both halves of the Titans Returns Leader Class Overlord with the Transformers Generation Selects War for Cybertron Trilogy Amazon Exclusive Leader Class Alternate Universe Optimus Prime. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the comedy portion of our show where I attempt to transform this transformer. So let's get started and we'll get started with the tank first. Move everything else out of the way. So let's see if I can remember how to do this without consulting the instructions. And you want to unpeg the rifle here and it just pegs into this part right here. Then you just kind of want to separate it because it's got some tabs here. You can see the two tabs here, slot and slot right there where that joins together. But also here in the front, you see that tab right there and this slot right here. So once you've got all that separated, turn it over this away straighten these pieces out and then wow that looks kind of odd still so you take the half of the tank toward it and it just flips over just like that and put 
that piece out like that and this one like this and this is on a double hinge the front of the toe and that's what this we're making the legs so and then that piece flips out to the heel spur and yeah that is the leg portion and we'll set that out of the way just a bit and then as far as the plane goes we want to untab the arms here they tab in up here and you want to be real careful with it because those tabs are not the greatest and there you can hear it untab and there's there's the tab right there and it, there's the slot right here and it's the same on the other side and that one's not quite as difficult so that worries me a little bit so then you can fold the air folds down fold the hand out pull the arm out or you can pull the arm out fold the things down and flip the fist out now this part right here you just untap it you can see right here there's two clips and here's the posts on either side here for those clips And then I believe you want to loosen this panel up. And then this part right here, you just fold back and turn the helmet around. And as you can see, it is empty because we have to put the Titan Master in there. Now, to put this together, you'll see there's a big slot here. There's a big tab right there. And just push it in there until it goes in there all the way. And then the helmet opens up at the top. You take the Titan Master and make sure his arms are down by his side. Turn his head around. And then fold the legs up into a sitting position and then at the knees flip them over and just kind of line it up correctly and then you'll see right in there there's the little cradle where the head goes and you just put it in the helmet and push down till you hear it click into place and then close the helmet up and that part is done And that, my friends, is how you transform the Titans Returns Leader Class Overlord into his robot mode. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories in his robot mode. And first of all, here is his rifle, pistol, whatever you want to call it, long pistol. And it does have some nice molded details on it, the sides and the top. And then the underside is a little bit waffly, indicative of, well, just Transformers weapons, period. Nice open gap right there. So, but otherwise, you know, I, I do think it's a pretty nice looking piece. And it is... I want to say it's got some paint on it because you can see how it's already just been scuffed up here a little bit looking so it's actually painted so that's pretty cool and we have this piece right here and all that you really want to do with it is these go down oops that didn't need to go down and then you stick that peg out and this becomes a shield and he can hold it in his hand but that just looks kind of, well I'll say he can hold it in his hand he might not no he really can't hold it in his hand but it does peg in up here there's a port up here in the top of his shoulder and it will port in there so there's that and then of course 
the rifle he just holds in his hand. So there's that. That's how he uses the accessories. Let's take a look at the robot mode itself. And again, you know, same what we said about the, the face paint here on the, the Titan Master holds true. It's very nice. It's shiny. It stands out. The eyes, not so much, but that's okay. It's, you know, he's got shady brow going on. So overall, I have to say, you know, he's got some, these nice paint amps here, a nice foil sticker. It's probably going to mess up on the chroma key, some full stickers here on the knees. There's a little bit of paint apps here and there. Most of it is molded in color. It's got some paint here and maybe here. That right there. And on the back, he's got a little bit of a backpack. Well, I don't know if you call that a backpack or not. It could be a hood. And then this piece of backpack right there. I forgot to push it down when I was doing the transformation. That's why it's a comedy portion. Now, as far as his articulation goes, he doesn't really look up or down. He, you know, it moves up and down a little bit, but it's not really meant to. No chicken neck, no waggle. Can do the full exorcist, though. At the shoulder, 360 degree rotation, and then he's got a hinge in here, and it's really loose. So, but he can not quite 90 degrees bend his arm out. And he does have, it's like a hinge and swivel here at the elbow. It's on a mushroom peg and it will rotate 360 degrees. Well, actually I'll take it back. It's a cut here and then the elbow is lower. And elbow bend gives you mm, a little better than 90 degrees. And then at the wrist, there's no rotation. It does move in and out, but that is due to transformation. There's nothing at the waist, at the hips. He can give you the full splits, and then his knees do weird stuff because there is another mode, a base mode, for this guy. So he can give you that much of the splits. He can kick forward that far back that far at the knee it gives you not quite 90 not even close to 90 degrees worth of bend so you get that much bend out of it and then you don't really get any tilt at the ankle but there is approximately 90 degrees worth of rocker so not too bad for a transformer of this era Sometimes not too bad of articulation for a transformer, period. Even the newer ones. Well, that, my friends, does it for a look at the figure and his accessories in robot mode, except for the secret. Which, if you watch the Japanese cartoons, not much of a secret. The reason he had two headmasters is they... You know, he had two storage compartments in his chest, which you can use the Prime Masters, and that's what this was meant for on this figure, is that he plugs Prime Masters in there, and they, you know, give him more power. So there's that. Now that completes our look at the figure and his accessories in robot mode. For our final set of robot mode comparisons, here we have the Titans Returns leader class overlord with the titans returns legends class bumblebee and the walmart exclusive netflix war for cybertron trilogy earthrise leader class optimus prime Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second part of our comedy portion where I attempt to put Mr. Overlord here into his base mode. We'll see how well that goes. First of all, let it remove the Titan Master or Headmaster, whatever you want to call it. Then we'll spin 
this around backwards, flip that piece up, fold the hands in, and push the arms up, and keep them straight. And then of course they tab into position. Like so. And I believe this piece unclips, I think. I know it unclips. I think you have to do it for this portion. I want to say this swings out. Yeah, there we go. That piece unclips and swings out, and it wants to detach the... Piece, but you don't let it and you just bend that whole assembly right here that pushes up it then contains that piece that pushes up in there so you want to do that and then I think we leave these up for now and for the legs first thing you want to do is his, his yeah it's his toes his toes, you want to unlatch his toes from the front and then flip this piece out. And then just continue to swing it on up in there. And of course that piece is the connector piece for the bases. Let's do the same thing over here. And then you can close these pieces down. Once you do that, put the legs out like so, and then you rotate them. I'll say you rotate them. You might have to rotate them before you put them back like that. Okay, yeah, that's what you do. You rotate them, and Then you put them out like this at a 90 degree angle. And we'll do the same thing over here. And then you can move these two pieces into position like this. And they sort of kind of tab in there. And you can't see what I'm doing because I had the camera too high. But anyway, it was these two pieces and you just flip these down into position, straighten the hinges back up pretty much. Then you can take the rifle and it just pegs in. There's a port right here and it just pegs in. It doesn't have to go real far in there. So that's that, we're almost done. So here we take this piece and this actually folds out the landing gears. This piece also folds out if I can get it to do it. May have to do this, open the cockpit. And I can't because my fingernails are really short right now. So there. We'll open that up like that and then we push that piece out and we can close this back up and then that and these it, it doesn't really support it but it looks like it does so there is that and then basically the same thing you do with this every time you have these two clips in here and the posts on the outside and you just pop those into place And there he is in his base mode and like in this tower piece you know you transform the Titan Master and he can kind of hang out up here if he doesn't fall like he just did so he can hang out up there and there he is all complete in his base mode
Uh, let's take a look at Overlord in his base mode. And of course, I just, I just showed you how the Titan Master works with that. And of course, if you really wanted to, you know, you can rotate pieces of that up to give it a, just a different look if you wanted to, but it looks a little odd. Now the wheels are all on the bottom and it rolls okay. It's a little uneven, but that just may be me having made it uneven. But these pieces, you know, this one doesn't even want to stay in its up position. If it did, it would roll pretty freely, but that, that piece kind of drags. Now on this side, it stays up and then it spins around okay. Look at that. And then, as I said before, you know, he's got these pieces on the front that these are the attachments where you can hook him to other um, Titans Returns base mode figures like Soundwave or Trypticon or I suppose you could connect him to Fortress Maximus. But anyway, they have that. And this is a different connector than what Siege uses, which is a shame. Because it would be great to just be able to plug all that stuff together. And I'm sure somebody somewhere has a little kit that's, you know, makes this, you know, it attaches to this and then the other side is the Siege version. But I have to say, this is not a bad base mode, really. Usually base modes are really bad and you know anything under a Titan class really or, or something that is really intended to be used more as a base mode but this one actually doesn't look bad and I really wanted the Sky Shadow uh, version of this which is a slightly retooled and repainted version of Overlord which I say retooled I don't know how retooled it is because I never was able to get a hold of it but I would have loved to have been able to, to put Trypticon in base mode and put Sky Shadow on one side, put Overlord on the other side in their base modes and connect it all together. And of course, you know, you don't have to leave the legs like this. They can also, you know, you could put it out like that. Say if you wanted to connect it to Trypticon, you could put it out like that. So. But again, overall, I would have to say I, 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 I don't dislike the base mode it's actually to me a pretty good base mode for it not to be primarily a base mode bot for final thoughts on the titans returns leader class dreadnought titan master and overlord i have to say for my display i think this guy is a pretty good fit as I believe in the Japanese cartoon, he was depicted as a larger transformer than most. So with the new scale, since War for Cybertron, you know, he, this, this guy is bigger. And he's a good placeholder until they give us a newer one, possibly the next HasLab. since they've been really kind of concentrating on that that Japanese Headmaster series for the Haslabs here lately, or at least Japanese series. Might not be Headmasters, might be Victory. and I don't know. I, I'm, I don't really follow the, the Japanese continuity uh, of the cartoon. As far as I'm concerned, you know, it, the, the last issue, the issues, the last episodes, you know, which were the first episodes of season four, is it for the Transformers cartoon. I just, the Japanese tend to be a little more, I don't know. I, I don't know how to say it. It's just, it, it doesn't, that, that continuation of the American stories just does not appeal to me. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you 
so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further, or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.